ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to NBOT. That's nobody on time. You know it. I know it. The Prince of Ali knows it. It's me. It's me. It's just Sal. Hanging out on the internets with the big boy. It's Enrique. Prince Ali, isn't it he? Mm -hmm. Ali Ababa. That's what I just got when you said that. Strongest uh, 10 but... fabulous men. On My man. See, that's why we're such a good combo, man. Yeah. You you complete me. I complete you. That's right. But we're we're here for 106. I hope you guys are uh, excited as we are, and our subscriber base has climbed a bit. Yeah, we had a shout huge jump. To, yeah, shout out to Jose, letting know all his military buddies know out there that uh, we exist. You know, a year later, but never better late than never. Yeah, I'm a big fan. We're at 131, biggest number we've ever had. So yes. very cool, very cool to see you climb. Thank you so much, and welcome to all the new followers. It is nice. It's nice to have you guys here. Hopefully you guys can strap it in and uh, enjoy the ride. Twice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But yeah, so let's jump right into it, man. Let's start with the fun I'm thing. Ready. I mean, we I'm had ready. a lot of stupid stuff, but the fun thing was is um, my retail site came to a boiling point it did. where it literally turned into like, um, what was that movie um, with the... Oh god, like with Maria not sound of music. Um I'm once uh, met a boy named or a girl named Maria. West Side Story. West Side Story. It turned into West Side Story yeah. without without yes, the uh, without the singing. You literally had one group over here and another group over here, and then like the random old lady at the front. And that's that's really all that happened. Then they were yeah. all just catty with one. Oh, so and so said this, so and so said that. Oh, she and she wouldn't give me my break. She and she wouldn't give me my, my thing. And then mysteriously, the master key set that we've been looking for for the last two months just showed oh, up out of nowhere. In the most surprise. In the weirdest way explained to me. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, <coughs> I was looking through this other guy's personal property for a pen because I needed a pen. And I found it at the bottom of his bag. What? What are you talking about? First of it wasn't all, a bag. it was that storage bin, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, his, yeah, whatever his, his like his like carry go box or whatever. So I was like, what first of all, I at the very beginning, Enrique and I went to this place again. Right? We shouldn't be going anywhere, first of all, to talk to officers ever. That's not that's not what our role is for. So we have to go there and we have to we have to um what is it? Spill not spill the tea. We have to we have to make amends to this yes. team. I'm, we're we're coming out here to to put band aids on everybody. So That's I right. tell everyone like eight ten hours before. Hey, third shift, all of you be there at eleven o'clock on the dot because I'm gonna be there and my boss is gonna be there and we're gonna figure this out now. Okay, so be there, be at the entrance, <coughs> and we're gonna talk at the entrance. No questions asked. If you're not there, you'll have problems. Everyone said, okay, cool, 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 whatever. I got you. They all showed up within reason. Everyone was pretty much on time within the seven-minute yeah. like leeway. I was shocked. Yeah. Surprised. So we're all there. I'm talking to Miklo. He's fine. Everything's working out. Things seem to be okay. He's got a little grumblings that he wants to give me, but he'll do it later. Okay, cool. So we get everyone together, and I'm saying, hey, we're dropping this right now, okay? Because clearly working as a team, for whatever reason, doesn't work here. And I, I don't care about that anymore. You guys don't understand how to be courteous to one another. You don't understand how to be nice to one another. You're all grown adults who just can't figure out how to give each other a bathroom break. Like, yeah. well, why is that? That's the problem. I'm getting phone calls every day from all of you. All of you, except you. Talking about a uh, little old girl. Except you. About... Oh, he's not giving me a bathroom break. He ain't coming over here. He's telling me to go over there. Why can't he go over there? I go, so this is what we're going to do now. You two are going to be outside <coughs> in the guard check where you always are. And you don't need to worry about nothing. You two just give each other breaks because you don't need two people in that box. But we're going to put two people in that box so that you two can break each other. And you're going to be completely disconnected from everyone. So you got to make sure that A, you got water. B, you got food. And if you don't got food, you grub hub it and bring it to you because you can't get inside the building to go get the um, vending machines or whatever because you need to have a pass to get in the building and you ain't got one. So make sure you got food, make sure you got water, 
And if you have to go to the bathroom, the first dock door is open. You don't even need a badge. Go into the first dock door. Use the bathroom right there. Because it's the same bathroom for all the dock, the dock truckers or whatever. So you don't need to interact with nobody but yourselves. As long as you cut the seals, no one will care about you ever in the, in the good way. Cool? Cool. Are you sure that's cool? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Then you two, which is like Miklo and the guy. I go, you guys only have to focus on both y'all and her. That's it. This is a triangle okay. now. The three of you have to work each other. So that means when you... Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're doing the triangle. <laughs> I wanted to make a bulls joke when I was there, but I'm like, I don't think... I think they're too... They would have got it. I mean, they, they would have got, got it, it, but I think only only the guy would have understood like what the triangle was. But anyway, yeah. so I was like, <laughs> that means you, Mr. The Guy, since you have the badge, you have to go give her a break. That means he stays solo, and when you're solo... I don't care about you leaving this post to cut seals. You cut seals because that's what they complain about. So if you have to leave this post to go cut a seal while he's doing a break, leave this post and cut a seal while he's doing a break. I don't care. Okay. And then you two just do the bathroom. When you don't have the bathroom, you come back and then you just walk your happy ass right back to the middle post. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. That's it. Period. That's done. It's simple, right? Because everyone knows what they have to do here. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Do we have any questions? Is anything confusing? No, everything's fine. Okay, and I won't. <coughs> I go, okay, Ricky, you got something to say? No? Yeah, I give my little speech. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. I mean, he nailed it all. It wasn't much for me to say. So I just want to just reaffirm everything he just said and just said, hey, you guys got to work together. Yeah. Let's just, let's talk. Sal shouldn't get any phone together. calls at three in the morning to take a pee. That's right. That's right. This is ridiculous. So it's then ridiculous already. we leave. I'm, we're, we'll talk about the journey there afterwards, but we leave. Yeah. All right. The shift ends. I get an email 10 minutes after the shift ends. One. I, now, I preemptively started the email chain. One, I told the first shift lead, hey, the master keys have been found. Make sure you acquire them from this person and then lock them in the lockbox. Okay. Two, I told the person who found the keys, make sure you talk to the first shift lead. You have to communicate with him and see him face to face to hand him off the keys, period. And if you don't do it, I'm going to show up again. I'm only 25 minutes away. Okay. <coughs> Three, I tell the client for this retail site, hey, the keys have been found. <coughs> you don't have to worry about your, um, like your, your keysmith invoice. Everything's good. And I'm going to get like an Apple tracker to put on that thing. So if it ever gets lost, the phone that's at the site will be able to find where it is to the like two within five feet so we'll yes. never if if we do lose it we'll at least have a digital way to find it okay then two minutes after that it's like 708 i get this huge like two paragraph email with pictures hey sal can you identify this person it's one of the guards <laughs> that we talked to last night wandering not walking wandering through the warehouse a out of uniform because she's got like neon white shoes she's got baggy pants on and just like a regular i want to say like a windbreaker but it's like it's not a wind i don't know what like a jacket that's not one of our jackets that's not a work jacket yeah. right yeah. <laughs> she ain't got the badge she's oh, so she's out of uniform she ain't got the badge and she doesn't have ppe on so you're supposed to wear a high-vis vest when you're walking through this warehouse because it's a functioning warehouse People right. need to be able to see you because there's like, I don't know, forklifts running around there going 15, 20 miles an hour. Like it's a, it's like its own little indie circus oh, in yeah. there. It's it's intense. You could get hurt. I've had people get run over by forklifts. I've had people break arms, break toes. You know, it's like pay attention. You're in a warehouse, lady. Pay attention. This isn't okay. your mama's backyard. Like just focus. So they're like, okay, Sal, we want that. <laughs> we want that person removed immediately. I go, the person that found your keys, you want them removed? Yeah, that's a it's a hazard for us. <laughs> okay. Good reward for finding the keys that has been missing right. for two right. and a half months. But <laughs> fine, it is what it is. So in my head, of course, like I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Like you gotta be effing kidding me. Like I just finally got a five person team. Like they did it right. No one called me in the overnight. Everything's fine. They found the keys miraculously it all worked out and then she gets booted <laughs> so now i have to talk to my like not lead patrol but one of my patrol mobile officers and be like hey you know that schedule i gave you 
starting this upcoming Monday, uh, I need to change it. So here's what we're going to do. I need you to do, you know, Sunday to Thursday for the next two weeks as an overnight at this site. <coughs> You're not a lead there, but, you know, I just, I really need your help. Oh, Sal, how about you do it for a week? That should be enough time, right? All right, two weeks it is. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so it's like I solved it relatively quick within like, you know, eight, nine hours. But it's like it's such an unnecessary it was. burden. It was like, yeah. like, there's no way that you care about who walks through that place. Because if it was a big deal and you're actually tracking like these people or whatever, or like you're, you know, reviewing video footage of them. These people have been walking through the facility for months, months without a badge, without, without PPE one. gear, yeah. in the wrong uniform. Like everyone that's on that third shift, including the guy that's like the lead, doesn't have the right gear. He's got a hazard that he's walking around with like a duffel, rubber made tote box. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> that's not uniform. That's not equipment. What do you need all that for? You think someone's going to yeah. rob your car? You put your whole life savings in the, the Rubbermaid he, box? He had his entire uniform in there. I was going to, I was like, pull him aside and talk to him. And he knew what I was going to say. So he quickly brought it out of the Tupperware thing. That's just, this is one of those endless, endless, like it has everything for him. I just don't get it, man. Yeah, it's like the magician's box or whatever. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's just, it's just like her, Hermione's Hermione's pouch that has everything. Oh like, yeah, the, the, the all the books fall over. The bu the bag with no end or whatever. There's uh -huh, a D and D uh -huh. item that's that's like that that came out way way before. Yeah. I just can't remember the name of it. But anyway, so it's like okay, so we had that, and then my other retail site, we had like a we had a midnight shift that only half the people showed up for, and I I'm not hearing text messages because you know I'm like I'm in a slumber, I'm sick, I'm not. It's not as loud as it normally is. So I'm not responding or hearing these text messages as fast as I as I normally do, and like the girls like, oh, you know, these th <coughs> family members got in an accident. I'm going to the hospital. I'm like, you're going to the hospital? Are you okay? No, no response. Okay, well, you know, just go solo. I'll get fined. Whatever. Like, what? Well, here we go again. But the same. Uh, now I'm going back to the other side, dealing with that same problem again. Yeah, that, we're back to that. Then the morning manager calls off. Calls off via text. Like an hour and a half before their shift starts. Oh, I can't make it in. I have a medical issue. I go, your medical issue happened at 6.30 in the morning. Like not the last two days that you've been off. You can't tell me during those 48 hours. You could tell me an hour and a half before your shift starts. Like not knowing that I'm so short staffed on flex officers that I can't fill it. So I tell the overnight guy, I go, hey man, squat. And then I'll try and get someone to you as fast as I can. Now I got one of the afternoon people to come in at like 1 30 so he didn't do a full double but it's like why you're like now nah, i'm just burning people out now for no reason no it's, it's just incredible i had two no call no shows yesterday and today one in the morning one in the afternoon i have like a new hire who's essentially trained so he's not really like a body you know they don't they don't count him as a real person because he's just figuring out what to do not he's that not a, a real to, boy yeah he's not a real boy <laughs> he's fake burn him <laughs> straight up pinocchio logic yeah but it's just like what what i don't even want to question what else could happen because i know what else could happen oh it'll it'll happen yeah, i had a girl i had a girl call off this morning and of course i hate it when people send me pictures of stuff like don't send me pictures of whatever your ailment is Everyone she's like oh sal I, I was sick and like I, I had a head cold and now i got cold sores on my lip and it's just like this weird angled close-up of her lips like and her nose and it's like Ooh. a little cold sore. I'm like, first of all, your picture is grossly unnecessary. Don't send me that ever again. Second, go to the doctor and get a doctor's note when you can return to work or go buy medicine. And oh, you're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky the cold, it wasn't cold an sore, Cold sore isn't, yeah. Cold sore is not <laughs> like, the only, the only way that a cold sore would be, um, what's it called? Contagious is if you're like spitting in people's mouths. Like just put some ointment on your lips and wear a mask and go to work. Bro, it is herpes. Yeah, but like, wear a mask and go to work. <laughs> like, that's fine. It's different if it was like pink eye. And even if it was pink eye, put on a patch and go to work. Like, <laughs> I, I don't care. 
There's, there's, this is, this is 2024. People know how to solve things. Okay, this is not like the 90s where I was like, oh, like, oh, like I got pink eye. I can't go to work for a week because the doctor. No, man, if there's going to be an ointment for your eye, which you can buy off the counter, put it on your eye, put some gauze over your eye, and then put on a effing eye patch. I'm pretty sure I said it at some point. I have to recheck this now. Put, it, put on an eye patch and go to work. And if you're so bothered, feel, bring gloves. I feel attacked, dude. When I first started my security career, I had to take a month off for pink eye. I feel attacked. That was right 20 now. that was 20 years ago. That was different. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's 2024. We know how to fix things. Just put on some wish... put on some balm and wear a mask and go to work. And don't touch oh, people. Oh, a balm. A balm. B A L M balm. Bomb? Yeah. Whoever uses balms anymore. Well, you know what I mean? Like this, it's an ointment. It's all the same stuff. It's all just like it's all just uh not lipstick. It's uh What's the what's the moisturizer the, like beeswax thing that I don't know what Vicks. they call it. Yeah, whatever. It's not that. Like it's just <laughs> it's all over the counter. It's the same anyway. Like just stop stop being such a you know, such a pee, a big pee. Like just get it done. So this girl who called off a today for pee. the for the cold sword thing, she works the weekends. The long shift solo weekends. So I'm like, hey, are you gonna be good for the weekend? No response. Okay, so I waited eight hours later. Hey, just checking in, making sure you're okay. You're going to be okay for the weekend? Still no response. So I'm not even going to know if she's going to be there until tomorrow morning. Wow. So that's going to be a mystery that I'll have to figure out. That's insane. Then what just else respond. happened? What's a, yeah, what's so hard about responding? You're on your phone yeah, 24-7. Yeah, it's just it's respond. A, it's a three, three word tech. Yes or no. Same thing with the people who like cry to me about how they're like mother's pet lobster is going to pass away and they need money to raise it and I, they need OT to pay for it. I was just like, well, here's an opportunity to make like 30 bucks an hour because I'm desperate and I need somebody. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm not I'm not available during that time, though. Okay, well, <laughs> go F yourself and shove your lobster straight up your butt sideways and get out of my face and don't ask me for OT ever again. And then they have the gall to go on this like 10-minute conversation about Hey, do we still have this account? Do we still have this account? I could work there. Oh, I, hate that. I could yeah, work I hate there. That. Oh, do you don't? Know, uh, do you know MB? Oh yeah, M ba M Basque. No, I don't. He, yeah, what about him? Oh well, he's a great manager. Can I work for him? <laughs> well, what are you talking to me for, bro? I just I'm only looking for today at this time. Can you do it? Yes or no? No. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'll talk to you That's... in like three months when I need you again. Oh, it's, well, it was just uh, it's just like, constant. Don't, don't don't agitate Sal when he's sick. No, it's because it's it's like I can I can only half laugh because if I full laughed I'll cough for like ten minutes. That's an easy filler for the content, but like I'm not ready to get like turned into a meme and auto tuned and all that stuff. Oh right, like, I right. Don't need all that. Well, it's funny because he's been sick all week, so we're at a hiring event, and Jenny is just saying ridiculous things. Yeah, out loud as per usual. I think she out does loud. it just to agitate uh, Steve. <laughs> oh, sh Steve get so upset with her yeah. they're neighbors yeah they're, they're neighbors they're so cubies. she's saying outrageous things so this man is dying in the corner of like laughter and coughing and she keeps doing it like she has like no filter when we're she out in public a, she has an audience now because i can't control myself he can't he can't and we're <laughs> so just i'm like there i'm like jenny you got i i'm fine until someone makes me laugh and then jen says something stupid and then like okay now now i can't interview for the next three minutes no right because i have to recover yeah, she's ridiculous. I can't oh. believe it. And then she's teaching my, my goddaughter a bunch of stuff, man. Like, I'm finding out all types of stuff that she's teaching her. Oh, with the twerking like, or whatever? The twerking, everything. She's just teaching all types of bad things and how to be a, a bad child. And I, I've got a, I got a course correct. There you go. There's a, there, she had to learn that that uh, that Yoda, yes. Yoda. She had to learn that chop from somebody. She did. She learned yeah, the chop from Jenny. Not, you don't see that on, like, uh, Blue's Clues or whatever. <laughs> you know? No, no, you definitely don't. You definitely don't because uh, she's got the twerks and all that stuff, and it's bad stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't condone it, and she knows I don't condone it. That's what happens when you just hand your kid the phone, and then they start going through YouTube reels. No, it's just going through her. It's her algorithm. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's Jenny's algorithm that's corrupting this baby, and yeah, she's it's, it's, it's getting it's getting bad. It's getting bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I'm gonna have to like really dunk her in that water when we baptize her. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> Be clean, my sister. 
<laughs> so, just pull yeah, her down so there for extra she's, seconds. Yeah. She's sitting there making him just laugh at this hiring event, and he's going like an old Chevy trying to start. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's <laughs> full body shake, everything like non audible laughing body shake, and then just a bunch of coughing, and then I'm good again. Like tick 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 tick. tick. So and then so all right, there's a couple of people that come in for the hiring event, and we're we're hiring like people for this retail location. Yeah, and uh, I get one, and I'm interviewing this lady, and she's gonna kind of fit into the weekend stuff. But the way that she's answering questions, I know she's gonna be a problem. Yeah, and he tells and I, me, I can hey. feel, <laughs> I could feel the death stare coming from Sal as yeah. I'm interviewing this lady because I hear the I'm same here. question. <laughs> Four times. He goes, well, you just said you weren't available for this, but now you're available for that. And I was like, bro, you said it two times, and she gave you two different answers. Two different answers. And then you what? said it a third time, and she mimicked the first answer. And then you, you said, said it a fourth time, and she gave you a third brand new answer. So here's the thing. So he hired, yeah, Shockingly, he myself. hired her anyway. I hired her. I hired her. Well, because... I don't want to come off as like the discriminating person that, that didn't hire her for whatever reason, especially with Steve there. Steve is like almighty political correct. Yeah, Steve is, you know, Steve we is have to give everyone. So if she was in my office, she would have been gone. I don't like, I'm just going to rescind my offer. I'm not comfortable with your answers. But because he's there, mm. I, I came off my game a little bit. <laughs> so I, I was, I hired her. And I was like, I don't feel good about this one. But we hired a lot of people, so let's like, a, like a twenty percent chance she might turn out okay. Yeah, yeah, that's so that's then, the retail life for that one. Yeah. Oh, that is that is the retail life, and that's what we hired her for. <laughs> so then, one of the last guys comes in. Oh yeah. This guy is Sal's bread and butter. He he he, he sucks at technology. He's a, he's an old guy that just doesn't know any better. Yeah, he's a he's a damn talker. He's a talker. He's not going to be a texter. Sal, my guy Sal likes text messages. He don't want to talk to you on the phone. Unless I don't he has need the to. story. No. Yeah, no. So this guy is one of those guys that I know if we hire him, it's going to get on on Sal's nerves. So you know, I interview him, and I, now I'm hiring everybody, but I didn't hire this guy because I knew this would be a big problem for Sal. Yeah. So I had to I had to tell him that we were gonna like straight like lowball him so he wouldn't come in, and he was he was looking for like twenty two dollars and up. Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> the guy, <laughs> the guy who doesn't know how to work his own email. Well, it's twenty two dollars an hour in a modern day job. Okay. And he came in and said he had a nickname. Yeah. I forgot what the hell the nick because yeah. he did flooring. Yeah. So I forgot what the they hell they call the me was. the something. I go the something really. <laughs> and then Steve pre-screened him. Oh yeah, and knew that it was all boring. bad, and he yes. knew it was all oh, bad because the St Steve only pre-screened one guy, and it was him, because the guy <laughs> was like, "Oh, I was here for the hiring event. Oh, excellent, huh? you know, just go ahead and scan this quirky key, and it'll give you a login process for like your basic information." Oh well, my third phone isn't really working out that well today. Um, is there a way that I could just do this on paper? Steve goes, <laughs> "Oh, well." Um, Let's go through a couple questions. So he like does all the preliminary questions yeah, does with it for him. him. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, Steve, you understand that this is a tech job that includes a modern day phone, not like that potato phone that he brought in that apparently doesn't work. <laughs> of course, it doesn't have internet access. It's like a phone from 1987. What are you talking about? This guy for sure was going to have his junk on your shoulder at some point if we hired oh, him. Oh, no. This was a t it's a tin hat guy. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's a tin too. hat guy. It's not like uh, like he's going to intimidate or he's going to try and press up on me or whatever. Like our, our good friend, <laughs> you know, Goose did. But, yeah, Goose. But uh, no, this guy's full tin hat. Doesn't believe in tech. Oh, I'm really bad with technology. He openly says it. Openly I'm really says bad it. with technology. Cool. Cool. And he's he's got his shirt open, all his ground beef, yeah. separate ground beef, Disgusting. just hanging out. This dude came up like, like legit came off the street. There's always one, bro. Like, why can't always. so <laughs> the hiring event was essentially a success. We hired like seventy two percent of the people that came in, which is great. Did. We, yeah, it was great. Then we had the incident overnight, but the adventure to get to this overnight shift <laughs> was astonishing. Right. So I leave my I, I drive to you this time. So if you come yes. to me and then we just jump in the car and we start going okay your wife gives me a slice of the uh 
cheesecake, cheesecake, which was quite good. I ended up, okay. when I got home, I chilled it in the freezer and then brought out a little bit to eat. Oh, it was great chill. It was great. Nice. Yeah. So highly recommend that. It was very good. Give her my love for that. I will. We're talking about, I can't even remember what we were talking about. But we started. Oh, we're talking about everything. We're talking <laughs> yeah, about everything. As is tradition, we just get on yeah. a, a rant that ends up like being reminiscent about old places back in the day of like where we were. And then I notice that we're like taking the longest way possible <laughs> to get to Route 53. I'm like, why are we going through all these like zigzags and twists and turns? I go, you you know how many neighborhoods you just drove through to get to 83? 83 is right outside your house. Like, what what are we doing? What is all this? I don't say anything. Yeah, I'm loud. yeah he, he does. He does. He at one point he says, "Oh, they better not be taking us to 53 the long way." Yeah, but yeah, because we've already <laughs> like we went through so many different streets. I'm like, is this going to take you to 50? Side note, it made you drive around 53 to get to it. <laughs> like that's how backwards this like this this we GPS. We pretty quick though. We got there yeah, that's quick. fine, but like it's just weird. Like why is it doing this? <laughs> like do you have the like no tolls option selected? Because no, I would never. Well, either no way, tolls. it's it's throwing us everywhere. But in the midst of going through like this like tour of suburbia at night or whatever you want to call the long way, <laughs> there's a moment where we're chit chatting. Both of us aren't really like. You know, like people like turn to each other, like in passing as you're talking and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. doing that, and there's a train track, and we hear, we don't see it, we hear the ding ding, like it's a, just about to start, and he he, I can feel that he hits the gas, like it's just a little, you know, just enough for me that where if I'm sitting upright, my momentum just kind of put me back in my seat. Like, I just, like, it's, you know, there's not enough space for me to swing back because it wasn't that much of a push on the gas pedal. But it was enough for me to go, oh, wow, I felt some momentum there. And there was silence amongst us. And I turned to him, I go, were you about to fast and furious me? Like, were you really thinking that this, like, big wagon was going to make it in that little short distance to get past there? Really? I would have made it. You would not have made it ever, even if it. I wasn't I there. Now he tells me he didn't do it because I was there, <laughs> but and I appreciate the forethought that goes into that. But the reality is, you in like the three quarters of a second of all this happening, knew that you calculated you couldn't make it, and you just I would, started I and stopped. Made. You would not no, have no. made it. I would have made that. The reason why I would is because your weight on there drags us a little. No, more. don't. That's the <laughs> rudest thing you could ever say to a human being. The rudest thing ever. Look, I'm already my, dragging it down. My extra three hundo. <laughs> my extra three hundo is what caused you to stop. Get out. Get out. That's that's oh, such a that's oh, the I, that is the rudest <laughs> thing you've ever said to me ever. That it was you. Your additional weight to the car. Yeah, dude. It's me. Not that so the not that the pickup of your car is like twenty <laughs> feet every three minutes. Bro, <laughs> I would have made it. You I would not have made, made it. it. I would have made it, dude. So I, I we're coming up and it's all dark. Yeah. And then I start seeing, we start hearing the bells. I see the lights and like I'm like speed, like I'm like Lightning McQueen, like I'm ready to go. <laughs> and then I'm like Sal's gonna be real nervous if I do this. Let me stop. Let me let me just because I was ready, like I was gonna gun it. I, the minute I, I felt the it. momentum, I white knuckled the side. I'm like, we're doing this. <laughs> we're doing this. And then the music for uh, when will I see you again plays, <laughs> and then we get hit by the train because that's exactly what would have happened. We would not have gotten hit by the train. I would have made that. If I, if I was by myself, I would have floored it, and that's it. We, we, I would yeah, have made no, it. No, correct. It that's it. Story. That would have been it. That's it. That's the end. <laughs> so he's sitting there like, are you serious? And it's the longest train possible. Yeah, of course we oh. get stopped by a freight train, which gives us like <laughs> 10 minutes to talk trash to one another about exactly what we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, you would have made No, you wouldn't have made it. No, we were talking yeah. about how it's we were so young and back in the day we did this and you were just amped up with the idea of being young I in a different car. You were I just thinking, oh yeah, I remember when I had my actual sports vehicle when I was 20 <laughs> and not this station, like giant station wagon now. No, I'm telling no. <laughs> you, I, so I told him I have a Nas button that yeah. I would have hit it, that <laughs> yeah. we would have been gone, bro. We would have we would have made it. We would have jumped it. Too soon, it Junior. Yeah. And I told him, I was like, well, we're going south. We don't need roads. Yeah, we don't need roads. <laughs> we're like making all these Back to the Future and Fast and Furious quotes. 
And next thing we know, we showed up at the site. Man, did my like energy just drop after that? So oh, I'm like, I, I know, spent, but, I've but spent then, all my good energy. And then your boy's there. I forgot your boy was working. Yeah, the no, ship right. there. And I'll look at it. You know, I give him the fist bump. I say hi to everyone. And uh, <laughs> the dude walks past me out of uniform, and Junior and I lock eyes and just start laughing at how like <laughs> embarrassing it is. And then Junior follows us home say, yeah. after the fact. <laughs> and uh, we get to a point where we're pretty much like within the last mile of driving back to your house to go get my car and everyone goes home, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, oh, look, it's a, it's a, you know, insert town truck cop. I haven't seen a truck cop in a long time. Like he's got yeah. one of those hatchback trucks or whatever. And uh, <laughs> of course, all of a sudden, like at, you know, at one o'clock in the morning, this cop just so happens to start driving slow. I was like, okay, here we go. Now we got to go five under because he's going five under. No, right. Nobody sure. passed nobody. Like, it's just, it's going to be an unnecessary stop because he's bored. And we're driving past, like, probably one of the most, like, backyard uh, bars that are there. You know, that, uh, whatever that spot is by the Pizza Hut or whatever that's up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. a that's a grimy bar anyway. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, like, here we go. This is exactly why this guy drives here. And then we started talking about the difference of, like it's it's one town that's connected to four towns, and I had my my uh, cardinal directions off, and I was like, oh yeah, I thought I thought Heights was this way, and Lake was that way, and Beach was that right, way. Right. I forgot. So <laughs> we're figuring this all out, and we finally get to a point where we can kind of drive ahead of this guy, and then <laughs> he ends up slowing down, and he's like following Junior for like a quarter mile. I was like, oh dude, go slow because he's, was, he's yeah. gonna pull your boy I was over. So I was so nervous for him. I was like, oh my god. And it worked out because it was a spark. If it was a it was, if it was a civic, it would have been different. Well, he's got these tints on there, like he's like driving a limousine with his like the smallest car ever. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, they're like they're definitely gonna pull him over. They don't the cops end up turning off. We're yeah, fine. So yeah, then cool. we get to like the fork in the road where there's two ways to get to my house. He picks one way, I pick the other, and I still beat him there. You still beat him there. It's just got a little it's victory still, right at the end. That's that's how I know I would have made that, that trip. Yeah, because you took a route that's <laughs> faster than him. That he's no, just because he, I drive faster. No, nah, he's just hesitant because there was a cop behind him. Even though the cop left, he's still like worried about it. He's young, he's worried. Nah. He's I'm worried. telling you, so. not me. I would have, I would have sweaty white knuckled that thing. You would have seen me Tokyo drifting down that entire <laughs> road <laughs> around those apartments to get back into your subdivision. So we're we're on the way there, and obviously you you can hear Sal is six. So I give him some like oh energy, yeah, the ener C, energy, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I give him some, and like he's trying to put the packet in there, but he's doing it oh, the wrong I, way. I poured it, oh, yeah, is, I poured it real hobo. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to just do it the wrong way, and I'm just like, come on, bro. Like, like, like give it to me, and I, I, I pour it in there, and I'm like, all right. like, And then I make the reference from Tombstone, where I'm like, just jerk that smoke wagon. But we we didn't know, like, what the actual thing was, so I ended up putting it on YouTube, and we watched it together, which is hilarious again. But I just, you know, he's supposed to shake it up, and I'm like, just jerk that smoke wagon, man. Let's go. Yeah, it was, oh, man, it was it was Being so able awesome. to relive a Tombstone scene is always a plus. Every time. I love yeah. Tombstone. Yeah, it's good so, stuff. It was it's anytime him and I are together, like we should just be recording all the time. Yeah, I told him I go. This whole stuff. trip could have been the podcast on its own. I should have, I should have just had just the been phone live together the whole time. That's it. So it was, yeah, it was ridiculous. And again, another late night shenanigans. We're out there, and then he's he's so tired, and he sends me a screenshot of him playing mariachi music. <laughs> yeah, to I'll, get home. I was like, I gotta stay awake to get home, so I have to blast like the most obscure music in my head at this moment. Because <laughs> if I play something else. I'm probably going to go on autopilot and not even understand that I'm driving. So I'm like blasting like everything, everything I could think of. And then I put on Pandora, which I like, I haven't touched Pandora in months, oh, years God, maybe. I haven't heard Pandora. Because probably. Pandora will like hyper randomize everything from a genre. Whereas like YouTube yeah. will just kind of give you like the same popular no, right. like, uh, like playlists or whatever. Whereas Pandora will just go out there. It doesn't even matter if it's part of the genre. So I was like, that's perfect, because if it's something I don't recognize, I'm going to get mad, that'll wake me up, and then I'll skip the song into something I like, and then I'll go. So yeah, it, was go. Just, it was just one one bonkers thing after another. All right, so let me let me take the mic over really quick. Sure. I got some of my client manager stuff I've got to talk about for this week. So I, it's, I'm not going to say it's never happened, but it's, it's not very often I get removed from a site. Mm. So... I, I've been chasing an invoice for a site for two years. 
we did uh, pull coverage at this site, and they refused to pay the invoice based on their, like, I guess, illusions that we weren't there for service that I obviously proved that we were there for. So two years, I lowered the invoice 4K just to say, hey, we're going to work with you here. You weren't happy with the service. Don't hire us again for pool service because apparently we can't operate that, and your expectations are ridiculous. This is probably one of the most difficult clients I've had to work with in a very long time, and I've had a lot of difficult clients. So um, every I have a weekly call talking just about accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. Let's get Let's bring the money in. So this invoice has been talked about every week for the past two years. So my my boss's boss has been like, no, we're not going to void out this invoice. We're going to collect it. We're going to collect it. We're going to collect it. I said, look, I know what we're dealing with. We're better off just taking the 6K loss because yeah. it's going to turn ugly. That's so hard. And to he's hear. like, he's, I know. <laughs> I get it. But I mean, we're a big organization. Yeah. So like 6K is a drop in a bucket. I think if so I, I said, didn't have my uh, retail issues, he would have been fine. No, with it. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. So I, I'll so apologize like, for no. that. <laughs> yeah, no. So like, he's like, I got to draw a line in the sand somewhere. His retail location is too big to draw a line in the sand. Anyway, mm. this is a small account. The problem is this account is turning into a larger account, not as big as your retail account, mm -hmm. but turning into a but larger big, account yeah. because we're getting more accounts across the country. So we go back to her and say, we want this invoice paid and we're not taking no for an answer. So then she comes up with the biggest laundry list of service problems that I've ever seen. <laughs> Mind you, I have not heard from this woman in six months. No response never reaches out mm -hmm. has her assistant reach out to me her and i never see on eye to eye because every time she says something i come back with something else she doesn't like it she absolutely loved beckham though mm. i told he beckham did the pool he stuff he, no he wasn't he just part of the there. pool thing or whatever he, he helped schedule the, yeah. his operation he yeah. was on that so i told him he needed to take one for the team this would have made her better with us mm -hmm. He refused to do it, so I absolutely blame him 100% for this. <laughs> if he, if he would have took one for the team and put, like, baby oil on his head oh. and just and just went over one night working late, we would have been golden at this account. Uh. She would have paid the invoice and then some and probably gave him a tip. More stripper season but, stuff. Uh. Oh, yeah. No, so <laughs> he, he never does it for me, right? He ends up going to the account that he's at now. He never does that for me. So... There is already a tension there. Hmm. So her and I still never see eye to eye. She doesn't like my responses because the stuff she says is ridiculous. I'm not just going to sit there and just take absolutely ridiculous stuff. Like, I'll take stuff all the time. No problem. That's my job. My job is to take over the complaints. My job is to hear ridiculousness and come back and still satisfy the client. This woman, you need to draw the line. Otherwise, she's just going to take advantage of you. So she comes up and has all these laundry lists of problems that are service problems related and basically says that I have not done my job in the past however long. And she wants me and my team removed. We've Eesh. had no service issues. No one has been removed from the account. We, it's been running smoothly. The supervisor that she wants is the one that's in place. And then all of a sudden she doesn't like the supervisor, that he's old as dirt and doesn't know how to train. First time she's ever said that. We've had apparently an accident that caused nine thousand dollars worth of damage to a vehicle that's probably as old as the guy that she wants removed. <laughs> it's their it's their vehicle, but apparently we smashed it so bad that it caused nine thousand dollars worth of damage. Wow. So I said to my boss's boss, if we caused nine thousand dollars worth of damage, they would have just totaled the car out because it's not worth nine thousand dollars. Yeah, absolutely. Like that thing not. is actually yeah, absolutely. So like what is she talking about? And if it had that much damage, why are we still driving it? Why are we still driving it? So it, it came back, back and forth. So because there's still $2 million that are out there lingering for us to, to snatch up, they said, okay, we're going to just remove Enrique and his team. So they end up giving it to your old boss. And uh, he already, on a, I had a call today, and he already told me that she is completely out of her mind. And that's funny coming from him, who, who doesn't really interact well with clients. And he's already telling me how bad and terrible she is to work with. And he's only been there for a couple of days. <laughs> so I, was, I, was, I wasn't upset because I don't mind getting rid of, of like problems like that. 
it, it's just the fact that she just like lied and like it, it was like what the hell yeah. and and I, I i just i hope they see the truth at some point um could we have handled things better maybe maybe i could have kissed her her butt even more but for a three-person site yeah what are, what, what are we doing like just just a make sure they show up a, with a weekly call no less yes like, that's, like what are we doing a lot of extra it's overkill it was it was just it was just ridiculous so i had that frustration to deal with this week then the uh the other site that you had that you had that interaction with that client that didn't go oh well yeah in the morning. they didn't like me because i told them that we do things that everything yeah. that happens internally happens internally and you don't need to be informed about it because yeah, it doesn't no, directly involve you lo and behold that this site is the only site in the entire book for our branch that does involve them and they need to know. So I sent someone out there today to train with the <laughs> exterior team. Just the regular guards, not a special like um uh receptionist officer, customer service officer, just a regular guard. And uh she decides to go inside because it's prettier. All right. All right. So they're like, Whoa, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. The guy doesn't show up till eight. She's like, Well, I'm here to train. Train what? With who? I don't know. I've never been here before. I'm like, so first of all, you can't talk yourself out of something. You can't talk yourself professionally into somewhere else. You can't even say, well, let me call Sarah really quick to make sure I'm in the right post. Are there multiple? Like, you just don't ask questions. You just say, yeah, I'm here. And then that's yeah. it. That's it. Stupid. So another person, I'm being sabotaged at this place. I, I get a call. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I get an email that copies my boss on it saying this is now twice now this month. Uh, this is getting ridiculous out of the site. You guys need to set up some kind of uh, weekly call and get this thing back on track. We, we this thing is going out to bid. It's you know everything that every national account manager says to try to just ignite a fire under a branch. He didn't have to do all that. All he had to do was say, "Hey man, there's some stuff that needs some attention. Like go smooth this over." Obviously, the interaction between Sal and this this uh, client didn't go well. No problem. So I call the client up, and then he lays into me about the whole thing that happened with uh, with the trainee this morning. He's like, this is our biggest sales day of the week, and I've got someone who absolutely doesn't know her head from her whatever out here, and I need this to be fixed. And I'm like, okay, I, I got you. Let's set up a call. You know, is there anything pressing that needs to happen? He's like, no, your overnight suck, your afternoon suck, your morning suck, but we'll talk about that on Tuesday. Just don't send any trainees out here on Friday. <laughs> how did it go from everything's fine to now everyone sucks yeah. so i have no idea what this call is going to be like on tuesday well, um, i'm not part of it so no you're not on the call <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's one of those i gotta smooth this thing over and get it going but that's my job I, i'm not worried about that that's that's you know it's not like getting a no call no show in the middle of the night yeah. um but like that that's the stuff that i'm dealing with this week uh on top of uh, apparently guards falling asleep during the day yeah i didn't know that was a thing yeah which was like about, which was highlighted even more because our phone stopped working and i'm only yeah. getting half the text messages so the recommendation yeah. i got like so we had we had a conversation <laughs> this morning that on enrique side he said <coughs> hey sal i need this guy removed from the site asap and we're already having like a personal conversation between germania myself and him and then he throws like okay let's get to a work let's get back to work comment and I don't see that. It doesn't come in on my end. So Germania recommends this person, right, this officer to go fill in. Me not knowing that they're talking about this message that I never saw, thought that we're talking about the thing that we're talking about in the beginning of the day, which was about a special, a special detail, detail that we had going on, right. where one of our officers, like a, a, one of our officers showed up in like house slippers, breakaway pants, and a, a neon orange shower cap to work as a security guard thought that that was an appropriate uniform so, yeah, so the, the, they sent the an email at like 9 30 yeah. at night hey we pulled this person we're gonna figure out how to do coverage ourselves <laughs> don't ever come back here ever again okay so i'm um, we're like chit-chatting about that and then i thought germany made a <sighs> Yeah, recommendation for coverage for her for this neon orange hat lady no it was for the bank yeah so it's hilarious so he 
it was, so we're sitting there texting. Jermaine is talking about her nephew graduating. We say congratulations on the graduation. Mm -hmm. And then I, I slip in there because they were talking about the emergency, the, the temporary coverage that the overnight needed to be pulled. And that Sal was going to start working on that. So then I, I slip in after saying, hey, congratulations to your nephew. I slip in, hey, Sal, like this option needs to get removed right away. And so then Jermaine responds with, hey, send so-and-so yeah. like they're off today. So he says, okay, I'll reach out. So it's like an hour and a half goes by, and I'm like, "Hold, oh, let me check to see if we got this guy out there or what." So I I sent a I sent a text and I said, "Hey, you know, like, what what's the status on the on the bank?" And he tells me, "Oh, yeah, everything's good. The guy's scheduled. He, I pulled him out. All, like, everything's done. I've already emailed." I'm like, "I don't. I didn't see an email. Like, because there was an email about the removal, but I didn't see like. I'm like, oh, he's responded to an email. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I'm like." Are we talking about the same thing? Like, I'm no, we are not. Like, what, no, we're not at all. He's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I covered the, the temp detail. I put him on the rest of the week. And I'm just like, wait, I needed someone out, like, right away, not someone for the overnight. Like, he's you're like, you're like, what bank? Yeah, what are you guys <laughs> talking about? We've been talking about the graduation and the special <laughs> detail all day. So I'm screenshotting my text, yes. like, the screen of our group. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? It's not yeah. in there. And then you send yours and I'm like, do you see like <laughs> what's that? What's that? Uh what's the missing spot? There. And I was like, <laughs> like, I don't see that. I didn't get that message, dude. So that means you were texting, like you were it. probably texting fast. Because you said congrats and then went right into the bank thing. So my see, that, probably didn't, that's how didn't I know that. I would have made that train because look how fast I text. So I fast. drive yeah. just as fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had to put my phone on mute because I was told I'd type like a like a crazy ex girlfriend. Type, you should see this I guy type. Quick. Like his thumbs go crazy. Yeah. Like they're like the like Neil when he finally learns that he can be as fast as an agent. Yeah, he's like blocking like that, Smith. That's how, yeah, that's how this guy taxes. I can't believe like the letters have to get worn out. Yeah, it's creepy. Like it, it's it's ridiculous how fast he types, and I'm like. You got fat thumbs. I was like, How this is, this is why I don't talk to people. <laughs> I just talked to like seven people in the midst of having our two minute conversation. Like, this is why I text. So I can just, I've seen it. I just multitask a lot faster that way. But anyway, I so was so shocked. I ended up like taking care of the special detail and I got coverage for the bank for most of the days, but I didn't get the, the dude off of today. Actually, I don't even know if they got coverage for tomorrow. So it's like I got. I, 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 I told Jermaine. I told Jermaine to work on it. Oh, hopefully she didn't remove the person I put there. So, but I mean, it's, <laughs> it is what it is. Because she's done that. She did that before as a joke with the with oh, the special I detail. So I was like, yeah, oh, I like I finally filled in the overnight. You you're like removing my person as I'm talking about it, and I hear her like that that uh, that wheeze laugh that she does when yeah, she gets caught yeah. on something. Oh, it's, that was too funny. I was, I was like, cry oh. I'm crying now. Just thinking, laughing about it. Well, and then we have a, a problem at one of our accounts. Uh, the one that's in Carol stream. Mm. And, uh, we have to send Melanie out there, our field supervisor to, to basically make sure that they do some training online because it's essential. We needed it. Today was a deadline. Mm. They still hadn't done it. So, I send her out there and I said, Hey, make sure they get the trainings done. Mm -hmm. This needs to be done today. Like I, there is a fire under my butt about getting this stuff done today. Like there is no other date for this. Like it needs to get done or I'm, I'm on the chopping block. So she, she heads out there. The guy does it. No problem. The one I knew was going to be a problem was the lady that was there because she is again, one of those super tech people or tech people who don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. So Melanie's telling me, oh, she's done. She's going to send me the certificate. I said, I, I want you out there. I, want, I need you to physically see that she has gotten it done and her certificate is valid. Mm -hmm. So cool. We still don't see certificates. She mm -hmm. finally gets out there and now she gets one of the certificates because she just finished. And I said, tell her she cannot leave until this training's done or she's just not working next week. Like, it's a Monday through Friday gig. Like, you need to get yeah. this done today or you're just not working next. So I'm just going to pull you off and I'm going to map you to another account so you don't come up negative on my, on my mm -hmm. account. Mm -hmm. So she gets there, gets the first one done. Then she says that the second one, which is the CPR training, is done. I said, okay, where's your certificate? It's a delay in getting me the certificate. When I get it, it's from three years ago. I said, no, 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 no. That stuff expires. I need her to do a new one. Yeah, you got to redo it. Yeah, I got to redo it. 
So again, if, if Melanie wasn't there, we would have had a big problem. So then the, the lady then is now having problems. The certificate is not updated which is just par for the course for anyone who's just bad at technology, that mm -hmm. technology problems happen. Mm -hmm. so I'm having Melanie redo it, redo it, redo it. I finally said, you know what? Screw it. Just send me the score that she passed. And that way we can just, just get it out the way. And mm -hmm. I can say, Hey, look, she redid it, whatever. But I just, I knew that was going to be a problem. And I was checking on that all day. And then I was trying to check on the bank and the bank was just like, Oh, okay. This is a lot. I know yeah. you were going through a lot, but I was like, I want to have the bank that's still the bank that's still not covered, and now I got this woman who can't get the damn certificates that I need. And the new hire, who's brand new to the company, got them done right away, no problem. Mm -hmm. So it was it's it was it's ridiculous today. Today was ridiculous. I could and for a Friday it's supposed to be chill. Yeah, Friday's Friday supposed, supposed to be chill, but super chill. I got a couple meetings in the mornings where I get my you know my butt chewed out or whatever, and then the rest of the day I could chill. No, not not today. They made me get up out of my recliner a couple times. It's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to happen. I'm on calls. I'm taking from my recliner, chilling, and then all of a sudden I've got to get up and do some work. Uh, and then I jumped down for the bank thing. I couldn't find anyone either. I'm like, oh my god. So, but that's funny because just the day before, Germinia makes a comment because I ended up finding nine people for this graduation on Saturday. Oh yeah, no, I said the comment right. too. Oh, you're gonna. Yeah. You said seven. Oh, I should throw two my way because I need some help. <laughs> so. I'm like, I come out to her after I get out of my office. You know, I had to put on my old operations hat and mm -hmm. like show them how it's done. And she looks at me. She's all like, where's that help when I need you? <laughs> and, and I'm like, I'm like, look, Jimenia, let me tell you something. You guys said I couldn't do it, which motivated me to do it. I'm like, the other times you guys are just saying that, hey, this is going on. But you're not saying, hey, I need. so you guys need to challenge me with saying, I don't believe you can get anyone for this site. Because then I'm just like, hold my water. Man. So I committed to five. I ended up sending nine. And then, you know, now we're having all types of stuff happen for tomorrow. And then they, I get another request. Then we get an email for another, for another five hours. Hey, you think you got someone free for five hours tomorrow? No. No, we sent them all to the detail that you asked us to send them to. Why would I have another guy? Unless I, I can pull put, from that, from the people I just yes. Oh, never I mind. literally put, put our name on the yeah. thing. And then who showed up randomly to save the day? F me, man. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. Of yeah. course. On top of, of that course. detail that they're doing, which is another uh -huh. huge like parking lot yeah. detail that they had to do. You know that Big Jack had to go out there himself and do part of the detail last weekend. Well, they also picked up the pool detail at the site that I got removed from. We started the <laughs> yeah, pool again. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's the other thing. The pool again. <laughs> that's the other thing. My boss's boss says we're never doing that pool again. It was a mistake. And then They it. go into negotiations, remove me, and say we're doing the pool again. <laughs> So he calls me up and he's like, can you guys staff the pool? I said, I thought we weren't doing the pool. It's a big liability. Like, what do you mean? No, man, we're going to we're gonna pick it up and it's going to be fine-tuned this year. It's not. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a headache. You're, we're not going to get paid for it. Mark my words. But, sir, this is your, <laughs> this is your office. Whatever you do, I'm here yeah. to please you, my liege. Yeah, whatever, my liege. Whatever you want. My lord, my liege. <laughs> uh, so frustrating. Oh my god, it, this was a frustrating. It was a short week, it yeah, right? Easy. Yeah, it's a post holiday week, yeah. Man, it's supposed to be easy, yeah, definitely was not. Definitely, was no, not. not at all. And then I, I'm just afraid for tomorrow, so oh, tomorrow's gonna be a I, I have no idea I just gave what everyone... I'm supposed to do for tomorrow. You know what, though, your your supervisor that's a, that's a pain in the butt, yeah, at the new site. I got her to go in tomorrow, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> funny because she didn't have coverage today for her, for her relief shift. So I, I um, there's a whole story beyond that. We don't have enough time to get into it. But long story short, the 3 p.m. guard that, that's supposed to relieve her uh, just wasn't there. So yeah. I text her 15 minutes after the fact, hey, did you get relieved? Because I'm aware of something that was going on, but I wasn't told of a solution. So I just assumed it, <laughs> it solved itself. Then knowing who it was, I'm like, yeah, I'll just double check because this is going to get a lot worse. <laughs> so, of course, it, did, it didn't fix itself. So I'm trying to call a couple of the people that work there. Hey, can you come in? Hey, why are, aren't you coming in? What happened? Are you okay? Okay, uh, the extra guard. Hey, you know, I got an extra one this weekend. Hey, or I got the guard on the weekend. Hey, can you come in and do a 3 p.m. shift? No, no, no. Okay, let's start calling flexes. Hey, flex, you want to come in for 20? No. Hey, flex, you want to come in for 25? No. Hey, flex, can you come in for 30? Uh... 20 minutes later, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like it's just nonstop. And then I'm yeah. keeping her updated while I'm doing this. 
hey, I'm calling these people. Uh, let me see what I can do. I'll keep you updated. Hey, I'm getting a couple of no's, but I'm going to start looking outside of my like pool of people. I'm going to go into the other team's pool of people, see who I can pull in. Okay. Then she calls me, knowing that I hate phone calls. Sal. She knows. She knows you. Hey, hate Sal. Phone how's it going? I'm sick. What's up? <laughs> she goes, oh, I didn't know you were sick. Because uh, no one knows I'm sick. Or, you know, I'm I'm remote. No one knows yeah. I'm sick. But anyways, what's up? Like, I'm trying to make calls for you. Well, is there someone I can call? No. Everyone that you would call, I've already called because you don't have access to the 2,000 officers that I do. Just sit there and wait. Well, you know, there's going to have to be some repercussions, Sal, because, you know, this happens all the time and it only happens to me and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it doesn't only happen to you. There's no, issues right. that My happen on just, the other shit. It just happened Thursday. Happened to yeah. him, yeah, where he wasn't relieved for like an extra hour and a half or whatever that was. Yeah, right, right. I was like, it doesn't just happen to you. Also, you're a working supervisor. You have to work the post just like every other guard. You are the same. She's like, well, I don't really like that people go to you instead of me. I go, because you don't problem solve outside of your own shift. And when it's your shift, you're you're grimy about it. I go, everyone comes to me because I can create resolutions and show them resolutions in their schedule. They're like digital schedule. They see the changes instantaneously because they're willing to help me. I go, you don't help me. You just complain all the time that you got stuff to do. We all got stuff to do. I don't know if That's you know right. this. It's, life doesn't revolve around this company or these sites that we work at. We all got stuff to do. I go, but this is what you're doing right now. So you, we can either keep talking or you can hang up on me so I can go make other phone calls. She went, Ugh. And then hung up on me. And I was like, okay. So I ended up getting our, I got Melanie to go over there. And Melanie ended up just sitting there for an extra 40 minutes. And then the relief that, came that in. Was I was like, you well, need to release. I'm, just, I'm a, she's I'm more Friday, concerned though. about watering plants than like doing the actual yeah. job that's out there. It's ridiculous. Just just to play devil's app, on a Friday driving into Chicago, that 40 minutes is going to be significant That's because right. it turns into an hour and a half because the traffic's so bad. Yeah, because, but, you know, the, city, the city's nice, so we have a lot right. of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. It's yeah. a nice place. <laughs> no one wants to hurt each other in Chicago because there's traffic. So, you? Well, you know, what's funny was when I – so I was sitting there calling people for this detail. And uh, when I got to her name, because I, what I was doing, I was going through every mm -hmm. schedule to see who worked Monday through Friday mm -hmm. to see if they'd be willing to pick up a Saturday. When I got to her schedule, I got kind of cringe. But I know she lives in the city, mm -hmm. so I know it wouldn't be a far distance, and yeah. I know this is something she would like. So I text her instead of calling her because I knew I was uh, going to be on the phone a long time, yeah. and I would hear that. So I text her. She responds. First question is, do you know if this is the undergraduates that are graduating on Saturday? Wait, who cares? Why would why, I know why that? Does that? Who cares? Why does that matter at all? <laughs> who cares? Like, I, I already would have just not... <laughs> I would have just been like, actually, we just got fully booked. I really appreciate you responding to me so quickly. No, I've already had someone yeah. drop out, so I, I, need to, I need to make sure we keep yeah. this, this person. Yeah. So I respond to her like, I have no idea, but, you know, here, here's the information. It's 4 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. Here's the address. I know it's close to you. No problem. And she's like, okay, who's the point of contact? So I then give Beckham's work mm. up. She's ready to call Beckham already. I said, he is not a like 24 a salary yeah. manager. Yeah. He he will be active 4 a.m. on Saturday. Do not call him before 4 a.m. on Saturday. She's like, well, what about the uniform? I said, I will handle everything. I was typing the message up. Stop. Do not call him. Do not ask him about anything ahead of time. He probably won't even respond to you because his phone is not going to be turned on until Saturday morning. So I need you to pump your brakes. I just need a yes or no that you will do it and let me get you on the schedule and let me make sure I get you all the information. She says, yes, of course, I'll do it. Okay, great. This is all you need. She's like, okay, so I'm going to call Beckham right now. I just told you not to. Literally just said don't call him. And she's like, "Why? Well, I need the inform What information do you need? So I understand your frustrations. I get yeah. it. There was nothing else you need to know right now other than here's the time. Here's the address. When you get there at 4 o'clock in the morning, this is the person you call. Do not call them ahead of time again. I was surprised I didn't get a message when this whole 3 o'clock shenanigans happened. No, she never tells you about this stuff. I get, I get yeah. the glory. She goes, well, yeah, no. there better be some ramifications for these officers. I go, hey, the person who called off 
called off for a medical emergency with their family and they're going to give me the paperwork if they give me the paperwork great and i'm not yeah, going to do anything she goes oh, business really anyway. i go yeah they gave me the paperwork i go and if they don't then they'll get written up oh that's right well when am i going to get that you don't get that i'll send that to them you're not part of that part <laughs> you don't do that okay oh my gosh well what about a copy so i have to get a copy you don't need anything you're you're completely no, uninvolved in this well like what, what's, a, me, what's a supervisor supposed to do then nothing hold post that's what you're supposed Since, to do hold it without complaining you're the one person that's not supposed to complain about holding a post <sighs> Yeah, it's uh, when she asked me if the undergraduates were graduating, I, I just I just dropped my phone. But I needed her, so yeah. I had to I had to entertain it. Yeah, that's oh, me. Oh, that's me every day. That's every yeah. day. Oh, that's God. not just like when something happens. It's every day. I'll get messages at four a.m., seven a.m., nine a.m., one p.m. Who's covering she me? Copying me? Just yeah, all the time, everything. And then when it's something that doesn't matter. I get like these four or five paragraph long emails <laughs> with pictures. Oh, can we water the plants? No, no, you can't. It's not a security thing. Oh, well, I, you know, I, I know you kind of have like a, uh, like you have a sense of humor with all this, but like we're just here to kind of help out the client and just water the plants for him. He gave us a watering can. Give it back. It's not a security <laughs> thing because tell me what would be wrong about that from an administrative level. Well, I mean, it's just watering the plants. Okay, so what's wrong is that if you're watering the plants, you're A, not at post. So you can't check the cameras if something's going wrong in the facility. And then B, you're not at post. And if you get hit by a car because it's outside by traffic, by a crosswalk, right. and you get hurt, guess who's going to tell you to go F yourself? Everybody. Right. And you just got yeah. yourself a you know 30K bill from the hospital because you got hit by a car and you're injured well the other thing is you're watering the plant not paying attention to the people that are crossing your one yeah. job is to cross people so what are you gonna you're do you're gonna, you're gonna water the plant while holding the stop sign oh, and the yes. hopes that you're looking at what uh, there's like audio cues now that only happen at your post and when you're not at your post you can't do your job at those places. she's like yeah but you know we're just trying to make the area look good there's people literally like crapping on the walls in your bathroom and you're worried about watering the plants. Can you just see this? I is, guarantee, <laughs> this is what I happens with people that are like book smart that overcomplicate yeah. simple things Absolutely. because she's bored. She doesn't understand it. She doesn't understand Absolutely. how to just like stop. She doesn't get it. it and that, that job it. is is not built for complications. It's you you just hold a stop sign. That's you it. wave the people down the street, or you get halfway in the street and wave the people down the street, and then you sit at the desk. You don't even control who signs in and who signs out. You don't have any IDs to pass out because they don't do that there. You don't have any authority to like access the main gates or not. You don't even check in the trucks even though they stop to you. You don't do any of that. All these people do it themselves with sheets that are already there provided for you. You don't even make the sheets. All you have to do is control the crosswalk like a like a school stop area and then look at the cameras. And not even respond to the cameras. Just look at them. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Even as a supervisor, that's it. I think the only difference between like a guard and a supervisor at the spot is that you say hello. And the guards don't really say anything because you deal with all the traffic, the foot traffic of the people. There's no one there when the guards are there for the afternoon and the overnight shift. How did the other she's, companies she's fail so hard at this place? I mean, that's, well, that, that's even more they, astonishing. They, just, they wouldn't cross anyone. That was the problem. They weren't paying attention to cross anyone. That's how we got the damn account. Yeah. And now she wants to water plants. It's just too much. Like, I don't have time to deal with that. Ugh. Oh, it's it's a lot. But Melanie's yeah. uh, here, and she says, is it bad that I'm laughing? <laughs> no, it's not bad at all. <laughs> Okay, you only hear like the, the the like we do like a pre a pre uh, production oh, meeting yeah. between Enrique and I where we say what we really want to say, and then and then bring it down to like bullet points of what no, right, we jokingly right. say to everybody else like as we record. So one, one <laughs> day getting, we'll release the raw. And yeah, version. you are getting like a raw, <laughs> funny version of what we say, but it's not 
It's nowhere yeah. like I, every time that we have this pre-production, he goes, "Oh, we're gonna vent and sells venting today." Is that what we're doing? I go, "No, I'm just getting all the bad vibes out of me so that when I can say it while we're recording, I can say it funny and it's easier right. for everybody." Yeah, and then because this is not the way he sounds on the pre-recording, so he needs to get it out. Yeah, I'm edged. Like I'm, really, yeah, I'm well, always I'm, mad. That's my secret. And it's just like it's just yeah. I it's just never stay good. Mad. Like if I were to say what I really want to say, I'd be fired. I'd get fired. Oh, absolutely. I, 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 there'd be no, there'd be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. My yeah. attitude and my personality is naturally conflicting with a lot of people. Of course. And yeah. it's like uh, people don't like Episode that. 13, they don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could oh, tell this lady God. just to shut the f up and do your job. But <laughs> like, I think she'd ask me like, "What do you mean by job?" Yeah, like, it's right. like, and I don't well, want to get into that. Then this is my the definition of my job. Yeah. yeah, there's a difference. I don't know. She knows not to call me. She's like, <laughs> "Say, I'm calling you because some things just need to be talked about." I go, "Like what? The two things you asked me were: Is someone going to get reprimanded for this, and how late am I staying? Both of which could be in a text message. Like, I don't need yeah, to right. talk to you, especially yeah. while I'm trying to make calls to get you covered. Like, why? Yeah, that's what? What are you doing? What are you doing?" You uh, suck. <laughs> that's just all it comes <laughs> down to, man. You are the worst, and you should just go eat soap for the rest of your life. <laughs> but we hit our marker. <laughs> so we did. Thank you all for being here, too. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, I saw your ghost pictures. I'm trying to figure out, like, what the ghost well, that's, thing is that's about his the old picture. Trump. That, that his oh, old Trump. oh, I no. thought there was, like, a, I thought there was like a specter bad. in the picture or something. But, wow, the ghost is is all the weight that he's lost. That ghost is like still around. Like, yeah, like <laughs> congratulations, bro. Yeah, like those cool. pictures look amazing, dude. I thought your car was winking at me with only the yellow lights on the first one and the white, like it was yellow and white. I was like, is that the ghost? Like, is it supposed to be smiling at me? Like, I don't, I don't understand what I'm looking at. <laughs> but anyway, so thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you for all those new followers. Hope you enjoy the uh, the journey of MBOT as we get there. Uh, we'll. I mean, jump in our social media pages. We got Instagram, we got Facebook, and of course a Discord. All the bread and butter's on YouTube, so you get all the fun stuff on YouTube. Uh, you know, tomorrow this episode will come out right at nine o'clock. Hopefully, I don't like just fall asleep while I'm recording or while I'm editing stuff like I did last night. That's why today's episode came out late. But um, yeah, we appreciate you all. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll catch you on the flip side. And as always, stay classy. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys know this, new people or not. Detroit kind of sucks, and their pizza sucks. blows. <laughs> yes, it blows. I have to agree now. I can't. Yeah. I can't. It is horrible. It. You're not allowed to have an alternative opinion because it's no, a fact. <laughs> so, That's it. I'm so done. yeah, just make your pizza in a circle and uh, add like an extra layer of uh, sauce to it, and everything will be fine. You know why you make it in a circle? Because there's no and there's no points. It's just circle. It just goes round and round. It's forever. Yeah. And pizza is forever great. Yeah, it goes right round, baby, right round. That's right. <laughs> hey, right round, baby, <laughs> right round. Let's go. We'll see y'all later, everyone. Thanks. Take care.